Welcome back to another episode of Junkyard Explorers. Today we're putting the fuel pump in my 1987 Ford Thunderbird. So right now I got the Thunderbird jacked up, fixing to drop it down on this on the ramps. So we can get to the fuel tank right there. I think pump went out, so I'm gonna turn it, drop it down onto the our well, you know what I'm gonna call them? These are our makeshift jack, jack stands. So at least the car won't go anywhere. Okay, right, so we lowered it down. Now I'm gonna go inside the car. And it's the e-brake. Key brake set. Probably put the charger back on it again. Put the battery charge up. I let it charge overnight because it was dead. I still gotta hook up, it's just not on. So yeah, hopefully this is what our issue is. So, we took the door panel off because my window fell off the track the other day. And come to find out, this is still the factory one from 1987. So, what are your words on it? Take it back to 1987. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to try to see if we can get that back on track. Alright, so we had to fix the window because it fell down off the clips on the regulator. So, we already... Popped it, popped the panel out, popped it back in, fixed the window. So I'm gonna have to put some tape over that switch because I will forget. But we did get the fuel pump in and it's running better. So having slight issues, we're gonna get them fixed. Had to jack it up, let the tank down, undo, my, undo the hoses and the wires, and then we had to put the tank in, I mean, the pump in on the tank. Next, we're going to have to do the sending unit, because my sending unit is very whack. Because right now, the car says it's got 15 gallons, but I know here in about 30, 45 minutes, when I crank it back up, it'll say it has like four. So I think the sending unit is bad, or the wires are bad. So, yeah, that's what we did all of this so far. We got a little more we got to do.
You have to put it in park. Wait a second. Oh. The pump's priming. And there it goes, it's priming again. I don't know what the problem is this car. But it is absolutely killing us. So like I said. Okay. So here is my 1989 Toyota Camry station wagon. With the 2.5 V6. She's a little rough around the edges. That I know. This was actually my first car. My actual first, first car. I love this car pieces. But it says the station wagon. Red outside. Red interior. It's got to get cleaned out. So. But. Manual windows. Manual logs. On my transmission. Like I said, it's the 2.5 V6. We got to take it to get some front end work on it. Because it's starting to wear this tire out. And we just put this tire on here like three months ago. I need to get a corner light. So if anybody's got a corner light. Or knows if anybody has a corner light. Let me know. I need one. So it's the 2.5 V6. This is a good little motor. Peppy little motor. Here, I'll crank it up for you. Let you hear it. It has 139,000 miles on it. Button. Last time you seen this car, it was being dropped off to get front end work done. So we got the front end work done. I try to climb a hill, lose all four gears. So we're hoping the filters just stomped up. We're gonna go down there, check the, get the fluid, drain it, and if it, hopefully there's no metal in it. If there's metal in it. We're done for. And then we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with this car. So. With that being said, we're going to go under there, right there, there's the pan, change the wood. Alright, we're under the car. Like I said, here's the pan. You're going to take 10 millimeter and oops, that's tightening it. We're going to loosen it toward the door. That came off relatively easy. So now I'm just going to go through, just loosen them up, and I'll come back and get to where I can get the actual pan itself off. And the only reason why we're taking the pan off is to see if we have any major sparkles. And um, 
seeing exactly how bad what's going on. Because then, if the transmission is bad, which we're hoping it's not, I'm going to rely on you, my subscribers, to tell me what we should do with this car. Main things we can do with it, if possible. Like I said, I got a 10. That's dirt. type of gasket than what would normally be on one of these. It's going. The bolts are actually breaking relatively easy. That's another suspicion that leads me to think maybe somebody actually did care about the screen in here. Because <laughs> I know I never did it when I had it the first time. Or the second time. Or the third time. Or the fourth time. Well, this is the fourth time I've owned this car. So. Oh, I got some drippage. This is a 17 bolt pan, so if we get the bolts loose enough, we can count them. This is not the first nor the second, this is actually the third transmission pan I have done. My free catcher 5000 over here. Ooh, doesn't that smell lovely? And look brown. Very, very brown. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm going to loosen these the rest of the way up. I know it is. No, my book, my book, my book, my book, my book, my book, it's not big enough <laughs> to fit the whole pan. See if I can get half this pan down first. Yep. Not sponsored. The Catler works the best for transmission fluid. 
Sand and cat litter. I need to get some super clean stuff for. That works better. Maybe, probably not. Good thing I took my nails off. Cause this stuff is hard to get out from underneath your nails. And most definitely hard to get out of your hair. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. Oil's not that bad. It's transmission fluid. Especially when it's burnt. Uh-huh. No, it's not too bad. I don't think. Ooh. You hear it dripping, you know? I'm gonna let it drain for a minute while it's... Yeah, let it off on that. Let what drains out of the pan drain out of the pan. Then once we get the pan down, get my hands cleaned and... Do the pan. What is she yelling at? Okay. Alright. I was wondering, because I heard her big mouth. It's no burp. Not too bad though, it doesn't smell too burnt. It smells, to me it smells like normal wear. But I have smelled worse. Many drinks. Full count. Five. <laughs> smells like what? Depression. <laughs> it smells like depression. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of depression is burnt automatic training. There's something falling on me. For the car's too old, just for the transit in. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh yeah, it's Toyota. What do you expect? Yeah, this car came on a horse and buggy. It might. Yeah. We'll let the subscribers tell us. We'll let the subscribers tell us what they think we should do this car. Probably. Probably would die laughing. Did I Yeah, it is a testimony that Toyota totally does last. This, ugly this one's not ugly. Don't call it pudding ugly. And it drips. And it drips. And it drips. I like the car. What's that? I'm black on home. I thought about putting the setup in here. Well, count. Six. Seven. 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 <laughs> Don't say that either. Oh no! Bolt count. 
eight. The tires lie. Why? It's not a good year. Who we'll count? Nine. Ten. Oh my gosh, you can count. I know. I think I think you're still here. I did. You still going still here. Ten. Love the fresh burnt smell. I love the new fall smell. The transmission is high. It is very expensive. That's why it's twenty twenty dollars for the filter kit. It's probably that twenty dollars filter kit. Do I really want to be out another forty dollars, almost two hundred dollars for this car? So we just got done with the front end work. Yeah, the front end just got redone. Yeah. Or she put the cover guard in order. No, I don't think she'll become a yard owner. I think I'll do something with it eventually. She would pull the motor out and put it on a lot more. Oh, yeah, true. Could do that. Oh, oh yeah, most definitely. Oh, I don't know how many can how many of them pulled out now. Are you sure? Uh, Marissa, kid knows how to count more than I do. Ooh, that wind is blowing on the back side. Here's another one. Did I get you? I don't think I broke you loose. Ow, son of a gun. Did I break this one loose? I don't remember. It is not. It is not breaking. There it goes. Maybe I did. Oh, there it goes. You're so funny. Just cracking that one loose. Did that one. So now I got what? Three bolts holding this thing up? Holding the whole car up? <laughs> uh, no. The motor runs good, though. It does run very good. It's very smooth, very solid. What should be yours? The price is right. <laughs> the price is right. I haven't sold this car four times. I don't think it's. I don't think it's going anywhere now. You it, it, it keeps, keeps coming really back. It's not moving now. Oh. Maybe. Depends on how you feel. Hey, hey, hey. Where's the cons at? Okay. I love that smelling, you know? Don't you just love the smell of depression? Why are you my line? <laughs> Yeah, this is why we're broke. Because cars. Mm -hmm. Now, how many? I lost bolt count, y'all. You said you had three more, yes. Get rid of that fluid out. 
There's actually not a lot of, oh, it's like clutch material. It really doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It's a little dirt from outside of it. It's nasty. And it's nasty, but I think it's savable. Hopefully. Well, we're going to probably shoot the O'Reilly's because they were the only one that had the filter for this thing. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll take this pan, clean it real good, look into the body of the uh, transmission. So, we'll get right back with you when we. Make it a shift. <laughs> In the words of ice cream, we built. Oh, what Derek's doing over there? Yeah, I always wonder. back to our from O'Reilly's we got the cheapest automatic transmission fluid they had and the also cheapest filter and gasket they had so <laughs> that was the cheapest one the Wix was $29 and that was 20 and this was 22 so y'all can do the math I don't care so now we're gonna get back under there don't play now we're gonna get under here. Don't play. All right, so now we're gonna get under there, put it up there, tighten it up, and then put the magical juice in. So let's go. <laughs>
she goes to the Field of Dreams. Like I said, here it goes, the Field of Dreams, backward, because that's the only way no, it can go. And it's barely doing backwards, it's barely doing reverse. So if anybody knows where I can get a transmission for this car, please tell me. I would need to know. It says, has no drive. You hear it, you can tell it has no drive. It's not engaging in drive. No drive. Getting there. No drive, just reverse and barely even reverse. Excellent reverse, but it's going. The engine runs so good. To the field of dreams with the Thunderbird and now the newly added Blazer I gotta work on. For the same reason, transmission. But I think that one's gonna have to go to my, my transmission guy, so. So, you guys need to tell me what I should do with this car. Should I just, should I try to find a transmission for it? Or should I, ju I don't want to junk it because it means something to me. Or should I just do something super crazy and put an LS or something in it and have the best sleeper wagon ever. So, with that you guys, I think that's, that's going to be the end of the video. Because she's struggling as it is. Struggling. Is it driving? It's barely moving though. It's barely moving anything in drive. I will miss the bumblebee sound. And with that you guys, we're gonna get out of here and in this video. You can see Puddin's back there struggling. So, hopefully we can figure something out. And hopefully figure that something to do with it. Because I don't want it to sit in the yard and just sit. But, I guess we'll get out of here. And next week, we will be tackling either A, the blazer we have out here. Or just doing a walk around. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. And hopefully we get it fixed because that's, that's my favorite car almost out the whole lot except for this truck so please like comment subscribe 